523 now, and it's no secret if Vaughn loves cats and horror films. She can watch scary movies all day, pretty much every day. That's my thing. Uh -huh. Brian here loves barbecue. He gets the meat sweats just mm -hmm. thinking about a plate of brisket. Mm -hmm. There's a spot just outside of Bastrop that combines the two. It's called the gas station, and well, we had to check it out. It's today's Foodie Friday. <laughs> Oh yeah. In a place filled with meat, Ben Hughes may be the biggest ham of all. If the cops are going to find me, it's going to be here. And by the looks of it, he's not the only character here. <laughs> you see, Ben manages a barbecue joint, run out of the same building as a gas station, a memorabilia shop. Here comes somebody. Look familiar? Fans of the original slasher cult film, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, remember this scene well. The film was shot here. Would you fill her up, please? where they pull up to the gas station. and No chainsaws here. Only an electric knife. I'm not allowed to scare people. The insurance company said no. And some utensils. Chili, sausage, brisket. We keep it pretty simple right now. Um, Sidewise, we have beans, coleslaw, potato salad, the normal stuff. And after you stuff your leather face, you can reminisce about your favorite psycho. I'll trade you a Kruger for a leather face. <laughs> yeah, OK. Raggedy Ann was the Annabelle doll. It literally will open. I'm convinced she gets out and plays with Chucky every night. From posters and signed photos to t-shirts and figurines, it's scary how many things you can buy. There is a huge, huge, huge cult following for things that, um, it, it, things of this nature. Out back is set up like a campground with mini cabins and a sweet outdoor patio. Oh, and some nights they show scary movies. Just be sure you show up hungry. I mean, our brisket will compete with anybody. You can go look at our reviews. Uh, as far as brisket goes, we do $13.99 a pound. Our hospitality is always going to be there. We have a good time. We're off the beaten path. But it's worth the trip, and you never know who's going to show up. A few months ago, Brian Posehn came out. You know, Brian Posehn is not your everyday person to come out. I mean, you know, he's in Big Bang Theory. You know, he's in Devil's Reject. The gas station is known worldwide because the movie's so popular. And judging by the brisket, the food is making its mark, too. Well, the gas station is going on three years now. Before that, it was an abandoned building. Things change when a man from Ohio, who's a huge fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bought the place. It's kind of neat, right? The brisket's good. Don't let it fool you. Yeah, don't let the it fool you. The brisket is good now. You go out there and have lunch. I'm telling you, you enjoy the brisket. The whole experience. That's yeah. what I love about it. There was a lot yeah. of stuff. The movies that I had forgotten mm -hmm. about, they had mementos and oh, little dolls stuff. and things. Yeah, check I it out. I never saw Raggedy Ann running around, though. <laughs> never saw it. I would have loved to have seen it, though.